Media, tell me what do you think about Kawa Box Church? How about you? you I think prayer? it's beautiful and uh, it's a great idea because you can you move it around yes. so you can bring it anywhere you want. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's convenient, it's beautiful. beautiful. I mean, it, it doesn't get better than that. Uh, now, this young man is in excellent shape. It, but you can't always tell if there's something yes. wrong just by looking at somebody's outward appearance, obviously. Right. But he's had a migraine headache for three months. And so, like, what do you think started that? How did that get started? I'm not sure. I'm going to get a uh, brain scan in 10 days. Okay, so, so. I, I'm a minister that... I've been ministering uh, in the power of the Holy Spirit for many, many years. And I've come to believe that migraine headaches could be associated with a unclean spirit attacking the person. Right? Not a lot of people understand that, but so I'm gonna to speak to that. And, and and right now you feel that right now? The migraine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Lord Jesus, I believe you orchestrated this situation. So you unclean spirit causing that migraine, leave him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out right now. Go from him. Jesus is Lord, I take authority over you, devil. You can't have him. He's a humble young man who believes in Jesus, so get out right now and don't come back, you demon. Go, migraine be gone, be healed. Now you feel it getting a little better there? Yeah. And you've had it non-stop for three months? Yeah, it's on and off, but usually it's like a pulsing. But you feel it's going it like... It calm now. Yeah. It feels calm. Like you, it, it, and it went away in a way that, it, in a different way? Yeah. Than yeah. it normally, right. Normally like fades. Yeah, but that way just went away real quickly. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> say this, say Jesus. Jesus. I believe you're the healer. I believe you're the healer. And I thank you for healing me. And I thank you for healing me. And setting me free from that demon causing migraines. And setting me free from that demon causing migraines. I want nothing to do with Satan. I want nothing to do with Satan. I believe your message. I believe your message. And want to walk in love. And want to walk in love. Because that's where your power is. Because that's where your power is. The, the Bible says... Say the Bible says. The Bible says. Faith operates by love. Faith operates by love. And so, I give you all the praise for that in Jesus' name. I give you all the praise for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, so Lord, I thank you for this young man. Yeah. This and because he is a humble young man, Lord. Yeah. And it's amazing because because there's so many people yeah. that would see the physical condition of him and think he's not humble. Yeah. And and because people judge with their eyes. But I, he's a humble man, and so that's why the power of God came upon you. And so you're a liar, Satan. You can't have him. He belongs to Jesus. So don't you ever come back, you unclean spirit of migraines. And Lord, so Lord, and anything that he might have been doing inadvertently that opened a door to, a, to an unclean spirit, giving that migraine, set him free from it. Because you broke every curse, Lord Jesus. And so if there's anything in a household, any kind of idol or anything like that, that they're unaware of, Bring it to his attention so they can get rid of it. Any kind of open door spiritually, in Jesus' name. Uh, you feel more peace from that? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I feel very peaceful from that. <laughs> and, and, you're, and so like your head feels nice and peaceful right yeah. now? Calm, um, for sure. And, and would you say that this is, uh, like when, when you say it was coming and going, would you say this is the longest it's been without a, like a pulsating type thing? Um, well, I'll take like pain relievers and that'll sort of subside it, but like right. naturally. I haven't taken them in a little bit, so... You, you know what? I think God caused you to not take them in order to have that effect on you for this situation. Yeah. So that you would see that difference. Because but here's another thing that I think most people don't know. When, when somebody has something like that going on and they're taking painkillers, all they're doing is... Yeah. They're, they're, they're making that spirit, like, feel better. Because like a spirit, a spirit is agitated. It's always in a bad mood. It's yeah. always like it's always got its own headache going on. And yeah. so, so when you take that, you're, it's it's like saying, "Oh, I feel so much better." So it's not irritating you. And then as soon as it wears off of you, because it's like because like a demon, it, it's like it goes into a person and such. Not possessed. If you were possessed, you'd be a raving maniac. Yeah. You know, it's an <laughs> oppression. Yeah. And and the, and so like it it feeds on whatever you're feeding on. You know, like if, if if it likes like if it likes cheeseburgers, if you like cheeseburgers, it likes cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> right? it's, like, yeah. it's like and so your ability to have victory in the spirit is it goes along. It, it has to do with your knowledge yeah. of all that's going on. So like it's like I just equipped you with a lot of knowledge of maintaining victory in this area. Yeah. 
You understand? Sure, yeah. Bro, are you into awesome. cars? Am I into cars? Yeah. Uh, I have a few cars, yeah. Yeah, I oh, got a few cars. <laughs> <laughs> Where was asking, I was asking the Holy Spirit oh, about you, and he was telling me that you like cars. Mm -hmm. And also, you're gonna be you. You plan to be a business owner. You've got a couple of ideas for different yeah. businesses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So look, bless <laughs> his businesses because uh, God is gonna put you in a position of leadership and also financially, you're gonna be very wealthy. But He's gonna lead you and guide you. And because I believe of your that. humility, He's gonna exalt you because He He exalts the humble. So Lord, bless this young man. Let him let let him always be yours, hidden in you. Yes. Hidden in your heart, and bring the right woman into his heart, into his life, in Jesus' name. Thank you.